So previous work by our group, we've linked vitamin D deficiency to be a new risk factor for cardiovascular disease and mortality. And vitamin D deficiency is highly prevalent in the United States, particularly among blacks, because of the dark skin pigmentation. It blocks the UVB uh, synthesis from sunlight exposure of vitamin D in the skin. So 80% of blacks in the United States have insufficient vitamin D levels. And we know that strokes are more common in blacks compared to whites. So we set out to see whether low vitamin D levels could explain why blacks have a higher rate of strokes compared to whites. What we found that is among whites, vitamin D deficiency was associated with a two-fold increased risk of dying of a fatal stroke over the 14 years of follow-up compared to whites that had higher vitamin D levels. But we were surprised that we didn't find an association with vitamin D deficiency in blacks. So we don't know yet whether treating vitamin D deficiency can prevent strokes. We know vitamin D deficiency is a risk factor for cardiovascular disease and stroke, but we're waiting on clinical trial evidence to see if you're deficient and I treat you, whether I can prevent strokes. So when I screen in my patients, you know, I do tell them I'm screening and I'm treating them for bone health, and I hope that I'm, you know, preventing heart attacks and strokes, but we don't have that level of evidence yet. For most people, a um, thousand international units a day is probably safe, there's no toxicity related to, uh, at, at those uh, level of dosing, and so that's probably what I recommend unless someone has a blood test suggesting they have very low levels that need a lot more than that dosing.